Welcome all to the Portiverse Workbench. Woo, we're back again, really quickly, yeah. So, Gordon. Look at him, he's a model of my collection, that's cool. That's him for a bit. And so, you're probably wondering why he looks like this, as in the Railway series, officially, Gordon is a grizzly Stanier hybrid with a lot of Stanier modifications to the prototype of the A1 class for the LNER. Notably being the sloped running board, different shaped buffers, and his own unique valve gear. But I figured it was way too much of a hassle to try to build in model form, and I didn't really like how it melded together in the universe per se. But I do like Gordon being a Gresley design, as his connection with all the other characters like Flying Scotsman, Spencer, and all those guys, I find that pretty cool. And this is the backstory of Gordon the Great in the Portiverse. Gordon's backstory is, for the most part, basically the same as the Railway series. An old A1 built by the GNR turned LNER in the early 20s and sold to the present day Northwestern Railway for express duties and was painted blue upon arrival. But instead of going to crew for modifications, he was gradually modified over the years by the Northwestern. But most of these changes were internal, so he still resembled the shape of an A1. And in 1928, Gordon would receive a corridor tender, brand spanking new, I might add, until he very rarely has to refuel on the daily. And Gordon still hauls the Express for the Northwestern in present day, and is one of the most popular engines. So, for Gordon's model, super super easy mod for me, as he was just repainted Hornby tender drive flying Scotsman model. Yeah, I know, I'm not really much of a fan of tender drive engines, but it, it works, it's, it works. So, painting process, super easy. Primer, then a bunch of blue coats, detailing, and then clear coating. If you haven't noticed already, this is not how my model looked in the big train collection video from around six months ago as of recording this. As in that video, Gordon's tender lining was one of the biggest like atrocities I committed because I allowed it to stay so crooked. And so, like my Henry model and stuff like that, I redid it. Well, I redid the tender mostly. I actually stripped the paint in rubbing alcohol and then repeat the painting process, but I made sure the lining was straight neat and the number was consistent but now it's similar size to henry's number three on his tender i also did a lot of touches to the body as it was needed after having a model for about a year and after a clear cut to the tender gordon was officially done i also gave him a tugs megaphone which is really cool ad, but i'll get to how that works in a little bit but we're still not done yet my friends we still have bench updates so puff fight and little owl i'm redoing them and why you ask well this is because i want to give him some new modifications, like custom designed buffer beams. And I'm also going to do, redo the paint as well, that's why they currently have red roofs. I did a little experimenting with that. And also here's Red Snapper, I didn't do anything to him, I just gave him a clear coat recently, so it looks a lot better now. And here is a GCR04, or rod 280 This isn't custom, I actually got this in July this year when I was in Europe. Bought this guy in York after visiting the National Railway Museum. So he's a cool favorite, I just wanted a reason to show him off. So yeah. And for those wondering, the rule for the megaphones in the Portiverse is that all engines get it except for those that are either semi-streamlined or fully streamlined. Why you ask? Well, because they're just too fast for them to hold them in place. <laughs> so characters like Spencer, Connor, and Caitlin wouldn't have visible megaphones for speaking in the front. But characters like Thomas, Oliver, Porter, and etc. they would have visible megaphones. Uh, before you go, I have a quick update. If you recall, I announced special broadcast events going to become a thing next year, and one of them was going to be on the old rails of Sodor. Well, instead of one big video, I figured it'd be better to have it split into eight episode series, where I focus on each railway chronologically and go super into depth on what they did, which I'm super excited for. Northwestern predecessors, new series coming out in 2023. Stay tuned for that. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of the Portable Workbench, and I will see you all in the next one.